Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Weaver County Ice Sheet here in Ogden, Utah for Thorn Cup Finals action. It's game three of day number two as the Edson Arrows take on the... From our Lewis division that made the Western States Hockey League an international junior hockey league from the provincial division the Edson Arrows and in transition again Curry and Vasin Gulliver there as well as that puck got caught up in some skates Kopitz now goes behind the net for Rangioni Rangioni will lug this forward himself feeding across Mascali hopping in the lane there to intercept the puck Mustangs having some trouble here early just not really possessing the puck well Number of errand passes. There's a nice backhand feed up by Mascali to Curry. Curry able to angle it into the zone. Harry Gulliver will pick this up in the corner. Changes direction. Gulliver, sharp angled attempt toward the front of the net. Looks like that was a pass for Vasin. Goes off of his stick up and out of play. And you can tell early on in this game, both of these teams are just trying to feel each to other out. That up and which. All the way back into the Edson zone. Hadin. Saucers this across for Rangioni. Sebastian Lind into the lineup, an addition from yesterday, right Keaton? Yeah, that is right. He had to serve one game back in the Provincial Division Final and he's back out on here. He's excited to be out here as well. There's a backhand from Lind off the side of the net. He did score one of those goals against the Mustangs in Vegas. So that's even more depth contributions that the arrows will have here in this one. As this puck goes down the length of the ice, nearly five minutes in Again, here. some time and space being taken away as that was deflected up and out of play. Yeah, deflected by the stick of Perot out in front of the slot. What the Mustangs need to uh, do in this contest is make sure that top line doesn't get into the slot, doesn't get any chances in front of their netminder. Johansson trying to push forward off the draw, ends up coming to the corner, Shively banks it ahead. Amon Anderson not able to knock that down. Kalipov to the far side. Johansson just one-hands it into the corner. And Lundin with that speed, first to it behind the net. Now played along the boards. Lundin intercepting once again. McKinley getting a piece. Lundin still holding the zone. That was great patience near the blue line by Lundin. Puck banks off the glass and down the ice. Rampanelli busting to this one. Gets a shot on goal. You see the speed of the Mustangs leading scorer there. Winning a race. One-timer. Fresh off the bench. Same starters on both sides. Right off the draw. Stemfell working his way forward. Stemfell has really been a bright spot for the Arrows so far in this game. Winding his way into the zone on multiple occasions. Gets knocked down there by Mats Tielemann. And Tielemann, the defenseman, will rush this forward himself. Throws that one on goal, and Sudbury makes the glove save just 22 seconds into the period. And I should mention to you, near that end of that first period, Hadeen took that puck off of his hand. I can tell you right now, he is on the bench. It looks like he's ready to go out with that top line. Okay, we'll keep an eye on Sebastian Hadeen. Scary moments there at the end of that period, but uh, we'll see if he's good to go here moving forward. Puck played to the line, Shively able to hold it and wrap around. No one home for the Mustangs on this fresh ice. That puck in their own be. zone. It's a great play by him. Love to see that effort, especially from your skill guys, to come back and back check like that. Quickly out of their zone after that uh, defense's zone faceoff, and Oliver Waringa goes hard into the end boards. He's a little shaken up as he stumbles back into the play. Krasia joining the rush from the defense position. Waringa remaining on the ice though. This puck deflected in the middle. Rampanelli with a shot, fed back through the crease and now Krasia holds at the line. Krasia rifles one over top of the net. That bounces all the way back out to center. And it's fed across. We've got a delayed offside here as Anderson was still into the zone as Macleer was trying to play it up. Played off the bo boards here for Stempfell. He's had a strong game here tonight. Angles into the zone, shoots through the legs of the defender, Krasia. And a dangerous opportunity there for the Arrows. Here's Cannon Rogers now, leaves for Perot. And Perot rifles it into the corner. Two Mustangs chasing, McAleer behind the net. Now Talapov and 
playing catch behind the net here. Kalapov will look to carry Hadeen this forward. spins now a shot toward the front of the net. That one just whistles wide. Hadeen cycling it back down low for Lundin. Pressured by Tielemann, wrapped around the dasher boards. Nice hold there at the line by Rongioni, but gloved down by Tielemann and played forward for Harry Gulliver. Gulliver able to skate into this one. Feeds it across, Fasine with a quick shot. Another try, still loose. Just, uh, just angled wide and into the corner there. Number of chances there for the Mustangs in front of the net. Lundin looking for Hadeen. This one through everyone. And Ogunzanian plays that quickly along the boards. Winding up here is Lucas Vasin. Vasin connects with Gulliver. Harry Gulliver with the sharp angled shot just misses the far post. No rebound. And just as you mentioned on that last goal, Bronson Sudbury joins Liam Austin in two of the Arrows goaltenders this year in the 2018-2019 campaign to pick up an assist. Not only is it crucial to get good goaltending from all of your goaltenders on your roster, but getting an assist as well to set up good plays, that's even something special. Yeah, a goaltender who can set up plays and uh, set up that puck for the defenders, definitely an asset. This line of Curry, Gulliver, and Vasine going back to work. Some nice puck move, but Vasine spins and just shoots it wide. Vasine's going to pick up this puck once again. Had it roll weirdly off his stick, but regroups. Gulliver's shot blocked. And the top line for the arrows going the other way. Here goes Hadeen. Just catching up in time was Tielemann as he got that puck first and then uh, colliding with the body to knock down Hadeen. Here goes John Shively now up over the line. Shively pulls up. Gulliver trying to drag to the middle. Curry trying to feed forward. The puck banks off the skate of Burnson right back to him again. Another shot attempt that's deflected up and out of play with 4-12 remaining here in the second period. These are important moments for both of these teams. Edson picking up, connects with Pollock, who does well to gain the line and dumps this into the corner to Chase. Shively takes a peek, good heads up play to reverse the puck there. And Lucas Vassin will wind up. Vassin trying to play forward. Valentini getting a stick on that one. Bumping in front of that Mustang bench. Shively trying to play it forward. Now it comes to Harry Gulliver. Back to Curry trying to one hand it forward, but Burnson did well to get in the way. Pass didn't Gulliver get gets through, a glove. and that's something the Mustangs need to keep doing if they don't want the Edson Arrows scoring and tying this game up. Right off the draw, Mascali gets a good chance, and then pushed in front of the net. Another chance for this Curry Vasine Gulliver line. Kopitz off the boards. Again, the Mustangs pushing it to the middle of the ice. No one home again just getting a piece the of net the net there as Burnson nearly knocked that out of midair and into the net it was a nice feed in front to him wow Burnson almost had goal number two there yeah I was just gonna say that was a very close call but don't get Zanyan and the rest of that Ogden Mustangs defense standing tall in the crease making sure that puck didn't go in the back of the net this puck goes the length of the